Morning guys, thanks for joining me again. Um, this morning I've come to a place called Velvet Bottom, um, which is an area up on the Mendip Hills. Um, it's, well, as you can see, there's a nice, uh, nice bit of landscape for you, trees, nice bit of low-lying fog, good bit of colour coming in the, uh, in the sky, so uh, kind of winging it today, no real plan, so just going to go with it and see, uh, see what we can get. I spotted this lone, sort of scraggy looking tree here with the silhouette of the tree line on the hill behind and uh, I'm just going to stick a grad on just to hold back that sky a little bit just going to take the polarizer off because there's no real gain to using that at the moment because there's no reflections on, any, on anything, there's nothing worth using a polarizer for. There's no clouds in the sky so, so I'm just going to use a two stop two stop medium edge grad. Just to take a little bit out of that sky. Yeah, so there's a two stop Nissi medium edge grad. And as usual, I've got the camera, the D810 sat on the, uh, the Vanguard Ultra Pro 2 Plus 263CT carbon tripod, which is awesome. It's lightweight but nice and sturdy. And I'm using an airhead, um, a three legged thing airhead head on the tripod, which is great for panoramics. Which um, I might see if I can get a few of those today. But I'm just going to have a look at this shot now. Yeah, that's better. The grad has definitely helped that. Definitely. So for this, I'm shooting at f8. Um, focusing on the tree, because that's the point of interest for me. I've got a two second timer on this one. Uh, it's giving me about a quarter of a second. ISO 64. So, I'm going to chuck my backpack back on and we'll go and have a wander and see if we can find any more compositions. There's some beautiful trees around here but unfortunately they're a bit, they're a bit messy, there's too much around them. Not really isolated enough but we'll see. Yeah, um, yeah, if you're, um, sorry guys, like I say, it's going to be a bit of a crazy video, this one. Um, I wasn't expecting the light to be this good this morning, but, uh, I'll try and show you the composition I'm shooting now. Found in this little valley here, light's just catching on these rocks, bit of a tree there. Uh, sun breaking through the horizon. Shooting in landscape orientation for this shot because there's some um, nice mist up in the top there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go and shoot this now before this light goes. So I've um, kind of placed the tree central with these rocks down here, just coming over to the left a little bit. 
and it's catching all this nice light coming into this little valley bit, this little sinkhole. And it's looking quite nice. Getting a pretty good exposure. It's a nice sun rays coming through the tree. Uh, 1 15th of a second, F13, ISO 64, at 24mm. 2 second time removed. Like I said in my other videos, um, when shooting seascapes, you want a cable release really, because you need to catch that action. But with shots like this, I mean, you know, there's nothing, there's nothing that I need to you know, get that shutter bang on for waiting two seconds. I'm not. I'm not going to miss anything in two seconds. Let's, uh, just pop me down here. So I can show you what's going on. Absolutely stunning. So, like I said earlier, this is Velvet Bottom um, up on the Mendip Hills, not far from Pretty and Charter House. Um, because of all the sinkholes and all the mining that happened around here, um, when the light comes across it picks out all these contours and it just looks amazing. So um, just having a look behind me as the sun's come up and it's lighting up the whole of the whole of the area. And if you can see that wall just there, I'm loving the way those textures are looking, the way the light's falling on that. So I'm going to go over there and I'm going to take a, a kind of abstract image. I'm going to zoom in tight and try and pick out some of the detail on that wall. As, um, I think it's looking good. So I'm going to go and do that one. <laughs> having a look around just to look for some detail in things especially as the sun starts getting up a little bit higher and I mean the light's still good at the moment but it's not long now and it's going to start getting harsh but yeah it's always worth just having a look around see if you can find some um, little detail shots but, uh, yeah the wall just look quite nice I don't know if they're going to come out on the camera but where the sun's coming through some amazing light rays kicking down across cutting through the mist if you can see them. Yeah, so this shot, I've um, got a Nissi two-stop medium edge grad on. Got it tilted over towards the sun slightly, um, otherwise you get where the, obviously the brightest part of the image and darker part of the sky. Darkens the darkest bit down a little bit too much, so if you tilt it towards the sun, kind of evens things out a little bit. Um, 1 15th F13 ISO 64, focus to infinity. It's looking nice. I'm going to tilt down a little bit more. Just want a little bit more of these rocks in the foreground. The light's starting to catch them. Got a tree on the left, rocks on the right, sun up in the top right. Light down through the valley. Hopefully, it'll look good. Right, so after the shoot up at Velvet Bottom at the top there with the sun and the, the nice contours and everything, me and Mark have decided to come down and take a wander the other side 
down to Long Wood, which um, it's an amazing little place with a stream that runs through it. It doesn't really get the light until sort of mid to late morning, so we definitely did it the right way round by shooting the sunrise over there. But uh, once we get down there, I'll show you around a bit. All right, guys, so we made it to Long Wood. Um, the river, unfortunately, is a, the water level's a little bit low. Um, but to top it off, can you see that? That was a Nissi two-stop medium grad. And it's now a useless piece of glass. Don't drop your filters on the rocks. It hurts. Uh, yeah, so last time I went out, I dropped the M50 all the time before. I broke the lens and now I dropped the filter. So this is getting a little bit painful. But anyway, onwards and upwards. guys sorry it's a bit of a scatty video but uh, Longwood didn't turn out to be well it wasn't very good down there at all the light was terrible um, everything's starting to sort of die off all the fungi's died off and the river was low just wasn't really all that I may have had one photograph I don't know but I also broke one of my filters when I was down there so I'm a bit annoyed about that but uh, Thankfully it was one I don't use quite as much as some of the others, but still, you know, it's not something you want to do. Uh, so yeah, um, that was, you can see that there, Velvet Bottom and Long Wood. Um, velvet Bottom was the bit, well, Ugly Warren I think is actually called, which is just over that way, which is where I shot the sunrise this morning. I'm hoping that I've got some decent shots from there because the rest of the out the rest of the morning was a bit of a washout to be honest. But uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, um, and don't forget to subscribe. And uh, if you got any questions or comments or anything, just pop one down in the comment box. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Cheers for now.